Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earth Master out here about uh, 9.54 p.m. California time, the first day of August 2024. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 3.8 earthquake here in the red flag down in the South America area. Also a 1.5 there in Southern California or just south there of the area. All right, also got a uh, pretty strong flare coming in right now, it looks like, on the western limb, western, uh, extreme western limb here of the sun. Looks like it's uh, peaking up around in uh, upper M flare. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Uh, I do see a little bit of curvature up here, so I think it has peaked. Fairly long duration event. Uh, looks like this may have peaked out here at about a 7, an M7.2 or so. Uh, but we'll have to check back on that. Either way, it's a beautiful, nice solar flare out there on the uh, far side of the sun. Well, just about the far side of the sun here. That sunspot region should be out of sight, out of mind here by tomorrow morning. But uh, we're still left with a little bit of flare threat. So let's see what we got here uh, in terms of uh, further sunspots here. I think that region that's showing that activity is going to be the 3768 here. Again, that is way out here on the western limb. A number, one of the, uh, number of these sunspots here are capable of producing some uh, decent flares. There's a lot of complexity here within all of these regions. So we'll continue to watch this area, but here in a day or so, these would be much further out on the western limb with no, really no threat to uh, this planet. Back around the bend here on the eastern limb, eastern quadrant of the sun, we have a number of sunspots as well that uh, Look quite interesting uh, and fairly complex. A couple different ones out here. Uh, all three of these sunspots look, looks uh, fairly nice in terms of the potential. So overall threat right now, 25% chance for an X flare, C flare at 99, and the M flare at 75% chance or so. And, and with all the elevated activity, a lot of flares going on. We got the proton event there around 35% or so. Uh, we have seen a number of M flares here recently. And the X flare potential was up there. I'm really surprised we haven't seen uh, another X flare here, but uh, we could see it in the days ahead. All right, detailed forecast here on the upcoming Aurora possibilities here. Now we just went through this here a day or so ago, and that was uh, it wasn't quite what they had forecasted. They were forecasting a G3 class storm. This here is a G2 class storm coming up here on the August 2nd time frame. This would be for tomorrow night. Uh, tonight, not so much going on in terms of rewards, but it looks like tomorrow night, um, early evening, we'll have to see when this arrives, but uh, tomorrow night looks a little bit more promising in terms of the auroras, and uh, that could go into uh, potentially Saturday night as well. So we got Friday night right here tomorrow in this area, uh, or in this image here. Again, G2 class storm possible there with the KP index around six. Yeah, we're going back down there on the M flare. So it looks like it peaked out here at a uh, 7.2 for the maximum. Well, actually it's uh, still going up. Look at that M7.4. Take a look here. A little bit of curvature here. That's a long duration flare, goodness. All right, we'll check back on that here before the end of this uh, update video. Uh, earthquake activity is run over from the USGS map here. Take a look, see what's going on here across the California area. Um, I don't think we got anything major to chat about here. This is a 2.5 map and above. Uh, 2.5 way up north here, northern California area. That's uh, just outside of the Bernie region. About nine miles deep for that earthquake for a 2.5. Aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes out here across the state and including Southern California here. Just generally light earthquake out here today. Nothing of any major interest. A little bit of movement outside the Mount St. Helens area and underneath this area. Getting a little bit of swarming going on here across this area. Looks like, uh, well, this 1.5 is a little ways away from the Mount St. Helens area, but we do have a number of smaller earthquakes there around that volcano. It's been seen a little bit of swarming here off and on 
over the last couple months and last year they had a similar event so it's just a recharging of the system below earthquake activity there um, nothing of you know major value right now in terms of you know whether we're gonna see an eruption here soon uh, we would know we would definitely see a lot of uh, changes here across that area just some smaller earthquakes for now one little point three there up to Mount Rainier region let's check out the um, trimmer map here tonight real quick wow zip zero are the uh is the trimmer count out here not a whole lot going on zero epicenters here for the cascadia subduction zone for further inland here utah area getting a, a handful of smaller quakes out there across the uh, mountain ranges yellowstone national park nothing going on up here but uh i do want to verify see if this site is working here tonight which it does not look like it's working i don't know what's going on with that site it it was working this morning but for some reason it doesn't seem to be uh functionable uh, at nighttime a little bit of earthquake activity here across the oil fields of texas nothing major going on there across the uh country the rest of the country out there let's take a look at the earthquake 3d globe see what we got out here uh, got uh, a little bit of movement here around Taiwan, southward into the Indonesia Islands area. Look at this earthquake here in the Solomon Islands, a 4.6. Fairly new earthquake. Well, it's to the west here, I would say. Uh, near the Solomon Sea, there's a trough, a little subduction zone in here. And this earthquake, fairly deep, 91 or 97 miles underneath this area for 4.6. So we still haven't seen any uh, major adjustment here across the Solomon Islands. This area has been absent uh, in terms of earthquake activity out here recently. Um, I'm still waiting. Still waiting for some larger movement to fill in here. It's a seismic gap that's a little concerning here because it's been quiet for uh, an extended period. Couple threes down there across New Zealand. Uh, aside from that, let's see what else we got out here around the uh, globe. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Got uh, some earthquake activity out there around Italy today. Southern Italy with a five-pointer shaking things up out there. That is just off of the plate boundary. Let me show you guys here real quick uh, for this 5.1. Yeah, you know, granted, they don't get five-pointers all the time here. This is the boot. I always told us to look for the boot on the map here. You can, that's easy, uh, easy description here of Italy. Kind of looks like a boot. Eventually, it may not uh, throughout time as the uh, plates warp and switch around. But uh, 5.1 near uh, the Campana, Italy area, 16 miles deep, just off of the plate boundary here. And um, looks like a handful of smaller quakes to the east here across the Turkey area. Uh, well, let me look here and see where that's at. Yeah, it looks like the Mediterranean area getting into the Turkey region, roughly out here around Greece. Got a handful of smaller quakes out there. Uh, there's a little quake up in Romania, 4.3, and out near the uh, Gulf of Aden, 4.5 from early this morning. Not a whole lot going on through the Atlantic Ocean for now. Let's double check Hawaii, see what's going on out here across the area. No major changes there for now, just a handful of earthquakes. And a uh, quick glance at the USGS uh, map here in terms of the volcano activity across Kilauea. Just want to get a real quick view here of the seismograph station, at least the recorded part of it. There's a... <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's so weird. Maybe some setting there in my computer. I don't know little irritating it used to do it all the time i'd click on it and it'd never load like this i don't know why why it would do that but a handful of earthquakes out here you can see uh there on the seismograph station quite a few little spikes nothing of any uh, major movement though we're still looking at elevated activity out here in terms of inflation uh really no migration of the activity we're going up here across the summit area once again over the past couple days Here's the last month. There's the magma displacement off to the upper east rift zone from the summit area. And now we're starting to go back up here. So it'd be interesting to see how this plays out. All right, uh, real quick glance here at this um, flare again. Yeah, I, that, I'm pretty certain now that that's the peak of it um, in M7.4. 
fairly decent size solar flare. This one, you know, obviously way out there on the far western limb. That's actually a beautiful image there. I'm going to screen capture that for my thumbnail on this YouTube update video. Beautiful. Almost the next flare. But uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on all these other spots out here. They're fairly active. And again, we do have a uh, elevated threat here for some X flare potential and maybe a G2 class storm coming in here. 70% chance. Uh, we'll see how this plays out though. We'll get a better view of this uh, tomorrow morning far as the update goes. All right, folks, you have yourself a good night. Stay safe out there. Uh, seismograph stations out here look pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on across these um, individual ones for now. So we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the Friday morning update. The weekend is upon us already. See how quick, see how quick the work week goes by? It's crazy. So Friday tomorrow, we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good night.